Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pooch on the Score Studio and we're back with a new video. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about my setup, the Blackmagic Pocket Camera Cinema Pro 4K. And we're gonna be setting it up and building it. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So stay tuned. This is the Blackmagic 4K, right? So let's talk about this, guys. So I have a external battery. I have a handle. I have, I got a 4K monitor, as you guys can see. Piece for my SSD, and I got a SSD. We have the, the piece to actually power everything. Two piece for like the, you guys know what I'm talking about. And then finally, guys, we have the camera, the Black Magic. All right, guys. So the reason I bought this camera, I bought this camera for two reasons. I bought this camera because the low light on my Canon LED, I needed to use light. That was shitty. I did the, the Canon LED didn't have a 4K, and I was moving into video, and I'm still moving into video. I love video a lot. I kind of took a break from photography, but the Black Magic Pocket of a 4K got you know a lot more to offer than my Canon LED. It shoots at 4K. It shoots at 120 frames per second. It also takes pictures, but it's not the best when it comes down to photography. This should at 60 frame at 4k it should at 24 at 4k and 120 at 2.4k or if not 1080 and but the crop is gonna be kind of closing but guys you're still getting you're still getting a 120 60 and like come on come on come on come on come on come on everything that you guys see in the in, in the in this video i'm gonna kind of put them down below so you guys can definitely go check them out this is how i build my camera so the first thing that i will usually do you know i have a cage so this is the cage. This is a half rig cage, and this they got this cage from small rig, small rig. So I got this from small. So the first thing I do, I grab this piece right here. This is to connect everything else. So, and if you guys can see, this is also from small rig as well. So, got a lot of my equipment from small rig. So this right here is a little smooth, smoother part, smoother part. So what I do, let's put this over here. It's making a lot of noise. I put this right here. Cause there's, there's gonna be a lot of holes. Let me show you guys what I'm doing. So, so if you guys look at the bottom, there's a lot of different holes. So you just gotta put, put it in the hole that makes sense for you. Screw it down, make sure it's level with the big, the front. Screw it down. And then also make sure y'all have an Allen key guys, for real. Okay, bet, so. All right. Okay, so that's on on the camera, the bottom small rig. So this is on, it's on good. And the next thing, the, the next thing that I do, I grab these, these knobs right here and you know, I push them shoot and I level, I level it up with the, with the camera, right? And then you have these little things on the side that you kind of, you screw and then you put the other one in, make sure both of them is level. The best way to level them, put it on a flat surface and then you already know it's good. All right, put it in the flat surface. This is what we have now, right? Good and sturdy. Make sure I double tight it. Okay, but so that's how we'll go by that, that part. And then we have this part right here, which this is what holds the battery. This is what holds the power, connect the, um, the, the monitor. So this right here is the most important part. Fun fact, went to Jamaica to go do a shoot and I forgot literally all of these stuff here. I forgot all the wires, okay? So now I put this on, right? Lock this down. So now we have the camera kind of look like this, right? The back is on, and if you guys look closely to the back, you got a little bit of like, you know, a part for the battery. So that's where the battery will go, right? Second thing I do, everything is small rig, like I told you guys, this right here. You guys are gonna put this on top right here. Tighten it. Okay, tighten it. So now you have a camera, it's like this now. So now all you gotta do now is add the battery to the back. So if you guys see the slot right here, it's a V, drop it in. You hear it click, bet. That's what you do at that point. My next thing that I do now, I add the monitor, which, which is this, what is this? This is not a small rig, 
this is a different brand and then this is the this is the free world like monitor as well too so you know i kind of just screw it on screw it on make sure it's tight and then i screw this on make sure this is tight Okay, so that's screwed on, that's tight. And then I kind of put the camera like this, right? So if you look at it from the side, camera's pretty much built at this point, right? The last and final thing that we have to do is I usually add my, right here onto the side, I add. Also, this is also small rig as well too. Okay, so that's on so everything is on and then we put the you know your this is going to be your, your memory your memory slot and you tighten it up so this is how the camera looks kind of without any wires and then now what you got to do now this wire is going to be for my ssd so i plug the ssd in plug this one in as well too on the camera this is going to be my power source come to this side right here plug this in right here and got to keep wire control bring this around put up top plug this in this is for the hdmi cord plug this into the top then the camera is pretty much finished built all you can do now you just turn it on in a sense right turn it on and we kind of just wait let me see so this is everything turned on this is the final look of the camera guys if you guys like this video and want to get a little bit more depth and review about you know how you how you set up your black magic or anything like that guys definitely leave a comment down below in the video and we can definitely talk about it as um you know as pairs stuff like that because there's information that i know there's information that you don't know there's information that i don't know that you might tell me so let's build a community like i said guys. again thank you guys for watching my video also leave a leave a like or a comment down below and if you're not subscribing guys double top that and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out